Margot, will you please keep still? Keep still, woman. I'm sorry, Jerry. These flowers they've given me. I mean, one does not pick dahlias and chrysanthemums in an alpine meadow. <laughs> and I'm still desperately worried about Baron Von Trapp's lederhosen. Why? Because they have not been dubbing properly, and every time he bends over, they squeak. Well, I mean, that's his problem. You can't worry about everything. No, I know, but I do. Oh, dear, I haven't even asked how your job hunting went today. Oh, I'm at full cry. Don't you worry. Oh, good. It shouldn't be too difficult to find another situation, should oh, it? Oh, piece of cake. Now, I must remember not to kick the mountains as I make my entrance because they wobble. <laughs> Is this a star setting room? Oh, oh, Tom, Barbara, do come in. Couldn't afford a telegram, so we made you that. Oh, how kind. What? Shouldn't they be Edelweiss? You see, Barbara's noticed. <laughs> I told Miss Mountchart she should have ordered the real thing from Moisey Stevens, but no plastic will do. The whole thing is tat tat tat. Oh, now, come on, Margot. We saw some of the cast on our way round here. They look very, very good. Except the kid with the runny nose. <laughs> Who's running on one side and the Baron's leader who's and squeaking on the other? I should go to pieces. I know I should. Overture and learners, please. Overture and learners. Overture and beginners, you ghastly little child. <laughs> yes, I must. One wonders why one does it. Now, look, Margot, you'll be wonderful now. It's raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Ah, oh, you see, you'll be a knockout, Margot. Don't forget, kid. Flo Ziegfeld is out front. <laughs> Good luck, darling. Oh, thank you, Jerry. You've all been most kind. Oh, most kind. The hills are alive with the sun. Hasn't it gone quiet? <laughs> party! Oh, my God, the party! Oh, right, everything's arranged. The moment the curtain comes down, we three go off and get everything ready, and you come on later with the cast and friends. Yes, of course. Sorry. Thank you. Don't trip over the mountains. Don't trip over the mountains. Don't trip over the mountains. Well, I suppose we should be grateful they're not bringing on ice. <laughs> Mind you, uh, make it a lot funnier, wouldn't it? Tom, <laughs> now look, I know you, you will not laugh. <laughs> I don't care if the nuns come on in football boots, you will not laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff your hank in your mouth. <laughs> don't you think we should get to our seat? Yes, come on, come on, showtime, Jerry, come along. We'll roar the grease paint and the smell of the crowd and all that. Oh, yes. Haven't got another job, have you? No. Well, only a matter of time. Once the word gets round to commercial wizards on the market, you'll be in. You are out of touch, Tom. I'm 42. At my executive level, that's practically senile. Yeah, but you've got contacts. Yes, yeah, the funny thing is, the moment they hear you've got the sack, they sort of fade away like old soldiers. Well, what sort of friends are they? Well, they're not friends. They're contacts. Contacts are people who meet each other in pubs and boost each other's egos with large gins then spend the rest of the day stabbing each other in the back with large knives. Jerry, come on, there must be plenty of other jobs. These days. Oh. Oh, poor old Jerry. It's all right, Barbara. I can still walk. Don't worry. I'll be all right. Mm, bad time to get lumbered with the expense of a first-night party, isn't it? Yes, trouble is, I've got a last-night party to pay for as well. Oh, blimey, when's that? Tomorrow. They're only having two nights. Sound of music, wasn't it? Possibly. <laughs> Only ask because at one time I thought they'd wandered into the Folie Bergere. You mean the sunrise scene when all the nuns suddenly realised they're in see through habits? <laughs> yes. I never really believed in them after that. <laughs> Why did Margot sing Maria? That's the name of the character she's playing. Oh, I know it is. I thought the song came from West Side Story. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it struck me as rather odd at the time. I don't think anything would have struck me as odd by then. No. Still, one can't expect an amateur production to be perfect, can one? Not after tonight. <laughs> 
Is the mayor incontinent? <laughs> no, why? Well, he kept popping out. <laughs> Probably just a music lover. Poor Vargo. Oh, smiles on. Here they come. Oh, oh, quick, quick. quick. <clears throat> Margo, Good evening. <laughs> Where, where's the crowd? Nobody's coming. Well, really? Oh, oh. Oh, well, look, let them do what they like. I mean, the show had a few gremlins in it, of course. But, I mean, nothing that can't be... Uh, but you, Margot, you were... Uh, oh, you... Uh, I said to you, didn't I, Barbara? Yes, you did, and I said... Yeah, I'll say it again. A few mistakes agreed, but all in all, you were really... Really, you were... <laughs> Bloody awful. <laughs> well, I was. Oh, come on. You can't take all the blame. The rest of the cast were awful as... <laughs> as well. You were going to say as well. No, no. Oh, Margot, look what leading lady could possibly do her best playing opposite a bloke with squeaky trousers. <laughs> but bad enough, four rows back, heaven knows what it sounded like on stage. <laughs> Somebody should have taken him out and oiled him. <laughs> <laughs> and have a conductor with his arm in a sling. His conducting arm, I might add. <laughs> and see-through nuns. <laughs> Exploding footlights. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Everything you say is true. But the fact remains that I was the leading lady. I could have saved that show. Instead of which, I gave a performance that plumbed the very depths of ineptitude. <laughs> I am right, aren't I? Yes, you were terrible. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Why do you sing Maria from West Side Story? <laughs> you tell me. The state I was in, I might just as easily have sung the soldier's chorus from Faust. <laughs> well, there's always tomorrow night. There isn't. We've been taken off. <laughs> <laughs> you were only on for two nights. Well, the mayor said we were giving the borough a bad name. <laughs> what about the people with tickets? Well, we're telling them that the chandelier is unsafe. <laughs> it probably is after tonight. <laughs> I spoke very briefly to Miss Mountshaft after the performance. Do you know what that stupid woman said? She said, never mind, Mrs Ledbetter, that's show business. I nearly struck her. <laughs> well, come on, let's celebrate. I mean, let's have a drink. This will cheer us all up. Champagne. Margo? No, thank you, Jerry. Barbara? Um, no, not at the moment, thanks. Tom? Uh, 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 uh not for me, no. <laughs> oh. Come on. There's lots of food. Yes, there is, isn't there? Oh, come on, Margo, cheer up. A little disaster at the town hall isn't the end of the world now, is it? No, of course not. It was a little production by little people in a little town hall. Well, that's all right, then. It isn't. The thing that really depresses me is that I have been totally selfish. I was so besotted by this fiasco that I never gave a thought to the really important thing, which is Jerry losing his job. Hey, that's all right, darling. Getting the sack isn't a tragedy? Of course it is, and all the best people do it. Look at Ted Heath. Ah, it's soon enough. <laughs> well, wedgie then. <laughs> Worse. <laughs> I'm not a fool, Tom. I'm an executive's wife, and I know very well, if I take the time to think, that Jerry is not simply going to walk into another job. Are you, Jerry? No, it doesn't look like it. It's all my fault. If I'd simply entertained Mr. Van Campen in the first place, you'd never have got the There's sack. There's never any question of that. This show was important to you. Yes, it was. Look what a total waste of time it turned out to be. But that's not the point. Darling, I may have been engaged to the company, but I am married to you. Oh, Jerry. Well, uh, goodbye, all. <laughs> Please don't no, go. No, don't go. All right, tell you what, look. You start that end, I'll start this end, and we meet in the middle. <laughs> right. And Jerry and I will do the same with the champagne. Last one to pass out will do the washing up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... I think I'll go to bed, if you don't mind. Good night. Night, night, Margot. Good night, Margot. Jerry. Now, I think I'll be off, too. Well, tuck in. You don't mind letting yourselves out, do you? No, what? of course not, no. 
Night, Jerry. Night, Jerry. You uh, know that pigs are constipated and there's no fuel for the generator. <laughs> yes. You know we've got grey aphis in the Brussels sprouts. Yes. We aren't half lucky. I know. What are you doing? Who are you phoning? I'm going to try and get Jerry's job back. How? Look, just leave it to me, woman, will you? Just leave it to me, please. How? What? Shh, shh. Hello, hello, sir. Ah, oh, Tom here, sir. Tom Good. Yes. Look, sir, 